In this video, we will be looking at Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. We'll be creating a new storage account, uploading some data, and we'll visualize it with Power BI. So let's get started. Go here and look for Data Lake Storage. So there's Data Lake Storage Gen 1, and then there's Storage Accounts, which is Gen 2. Click on storage accounts. Now we'll go ahead and create a new storage account. Here I'm using my Azure for Students subscription, which comes with $100 free credits. You can provide any storage account name. I'll put demo. Select the closest region. OK, fine. Demo is taken. This will do, I guess. And Asia Pacific, closest to me will be South India. So that's the one I'm selecting. These, we let it be as they are selected. And go to advanced. This also looks fine. For data like storage gen 2, you have to enable hierarchical namespace. So next, you can go to networking and the default options are fine. And click on review plus create. It will run validation, which will take some time. And you can click on create. Click on go to resource. So here you'll, able, you'll be able to see the properties of the account. Now you can go to containers. You'll be able to see the number of containers that are there. Create a new container from here. Give it any name, I'll just give it my name. Just lowercase names, private, no anonymous access, right? Click on create. And this is the container which you can also see from the storage explorer. Yeah. The container is showing up here. And here you can see the upload a new folder buttons. You can click here to add a new folder. Test. And you can also upload your files. So here I'll upload a very small CSV file. So you'll have to go to your container like this, because that way it tells you to download Azure Storage Explorer. And we don't really need that. So directly go to the container. And here, if you click on Upload, you'll be able to select a file directly. So here, it's already open. So house prices, 
I have a CSV and you can click on upload. So it's already been uploaded considering it's a really small file. Let's close this. Now you can right click and see the properties and manage the permissions, access permissions. From here, for now, we'll not make any changes. So that was all about setting up a container in your storage account. Now let's go and look at how to download Power BI and visualize our data using that. So I have already downloaded Power BI for desktop and this is the one that we have. Let's go ahead and create a new report, an empty one. So here's the untitled report. Here you can click on get data from another source. Now there are several options. Click on Azure. And here is Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Click on Connect. Now you'll have to put a URL here, which we will get from our storage account container itself. Go back to your container. Here, so... storage accounts here and now you will find access keys as well as endpoints in the settings so you can see all the endpoints that are here and there's one for data lake storage this one copy it now go back to Power BI and place that URL. It will say that you aren't signed in and you should click on account key and go back to Azure. In the security plus networking, there's access keys and just go ahead and get your key and then paste it, click on connect. Click on transform data. click on binary to view your data set this is the data set that we have house style overall overall conditions roof style exterior these are the columns we can give any name 
let it be query this and go to close and apply now the connection is being created close now you can see in the visualizations there are several charts that you can see i'll go for the pie chart and i'll increase the size and first we'll have to select the fields that we want so from here you can see all the fields that are there these are the categorical fields select any of these let's select ali and area on the box yeah so alley wise the areas that's it and then you'll go here to save it i think yeah home oh. publish save your changes add a name epls select a destination and it has been published you can open it so you can also view it online that's it thank you